one way, one, one way. One way that we can treat tumors is by placing a radioactive isotope inside that tumor. Now, when we place the radioactive isotope inside the tumor, the radioactive isotope will undergo radioactive decay and that will release radiation. Now, when the radiation travels, through the tumor, it will kill off the cancer cells. So suppose that three millicuries of radioactive isotope is placed inside our tumor. So this basically describes the source activity, the activity of our radioactive isotope. Now if the physician wants to administer 40 grays, this is our absorbed dose. This is how much radiation our tumor should absorb. About how long should the isotope be held inside that tumor? Assume that the half-life of this particular isotope is 30 days and one millicurie is able to deliver 16 milligrays of radiation every single minute into that tumor. So basically, we want to break down this example into two steps. In step one, we want to calculate how many grays the three millicuries of isotope can actually deliver every single minute. So we want to use a mathematical proportion. And in step two, we want to find how long it should be kept inside. So let's begin with step one. So we basically want to set up a proportion. So we know from this information that one millicurie of our given isotope is able to release 16 milligrays of radiation every single minute. So one millicurie divided by 16 milligrays per minute. And this is equal to 3 millicuries because the isotope we are using doesn't have 1 millicurie but rather 3 millicuries and we divide that by x where x is how much grays or how many grays our particular uh, 3 millicurie radioactive isotope can release every single minute. So let's solve for x by rearranging. So x is equal to the product of 3 and 16 divided by 1. So notice that the millicuries will cancel and we're left with 48 milligrays every single minute. So this basically gives us how much radiation this particular 3 millicurie radioactive isotope can release into the tumor every single minute. So now we can use this to calculate part 2. Now in part 2 we're going to make an important assumption. So notice that the half-life of this particular radioactive isotope is relatively large. It's 30 days. And since the half-life of the isotope is so large, we can assume that the activity remains constant. So the activity doesn't really decrease by a very large amount. It remains constant. So in that case, we simply take our quantity, given quantity of 40 grays, so this is how much radiation should be absorbed by our tumor. So we convert from grays to milligrays by multiplying this by 1000. So 40,000 milligrays should be delivered to that tumor and we divide that by our rate of 48 milligrays per minute and we get about 833.3 minutes. So this is how long our isotope should remain in the tumor and this is equal to about 13.89 hours. So a little bit uh, more than half a day.